We all sin. Nobody is meant to be a perfect Muslim. So don't ever think that you have to be always on a high alert of spirituality. Rasul advised Mu'az. He was only about 12 or 13 years old. Most of the companions of the Prophet were young. He said, Give me advice, Ya Rasulullah. He said, Fear Allah wherever you are. Keep that in your mind. Anytime you do a sin, follow it up immediately or soon with a good deed. That's all. Tamshuha, it'll wipe your last sin away. And interact with people with the best of character. He said, Ya Rasulullah, if I say La ilaha illallah after a sin, will that wipe it away? He said, among the best of good deeds. Do you see how simple it is? Very simple. It's like a sponge. If you don't keep washing the sponge away and you keep cleaning with it, you're going to have a dirty table. There's no point. The heart is like a sponge. Every time we do a sin, a little tiny blemish is placed on our heart. And when we do a good deed, it washes it away. Look after your precious hearts, my dear brothers and sisters. It is the most precious thing you can ever have. If you feel tight-chested, that is not your heart. If you have any doubts about your deen, it is not your heart. If you ever feel as if you're not really motivated for the Qur'an, it's not your heart, my brothers and sisters. Please separate between these two definitions. Are you ready? In the Qur'an, when Allah refers to the heart, He refers in different languages. One of it is called Al-Qalb, the inner divine moral compass that burns with energy. That is the heart. Sometimes it says As-Sadr or As-Sudur. As-Sudur is like a courtyard. Ibn Al-Qayyim says it is like a courtyard outside of the heart. The heart is the house. And what you allow or what comes into your courtyard, maybe sometimes you can't prevent it. Don't let it get into your house. What is the courtyard? How do you know it's in your courtyard and not in your heart? Number one, when you feel tight chested or uncomfortable with something, that is your chest, your sadr, not your heart. When you don't like the bad thoughts that come to you, that is your chest, not your heart. When you have doubts and questions in your mind, that is your chest, not your heart. And when they went to the Prophet Sallallahu said, Ya Rasulullah, there are thoughts that come to us that if we were to tell you, and you built a fire, you lit up a fire for us to be thrown into it is better for us than to tell you what goes through our mind. And Rasul Sallallahu said, that is the true sign of Iman. That is the true sign of Iman. I want to tell you that so that you don't let the shaitan let you think that something's wrong with you with your intrusive thoughts. It's just waswasa. So your heart is the key. The Quran is your heart garden. Wallahi al And Allah says in the Quran, Do they not ponder and reflect upon the Quran? Or is it the case that the heart has its own locks on it? Did you know that the heart has its own lock? And that you can open it or close it. The heart itself has its own lock. And if you abandon the Qur'an, your heart abandons you. If you abandon the Qur'an, your heart abandons you. If you resort to another form of enjoyment, other than the Qur'an, your heart becomes that as well. So be careful what your ears hear and what your eyes see. And what your mouth say.